Hey, what's going on you guys? Kyle here again. Um, I have a quick topic for you guys. I was thinking about this the other day and uh, it's come up a couple times with people that have gotten sober that I've not necessarily mentored but you know given my advice to um, and it's don't let your progress um, trick you you know don't don't let your progress confuse you into thinking that you know maybe you're you're not an alcoholic or maybe that you can responsibly drink because ultimately if you were going to get there you would have already gotten there you would have figured out your perfect combination or, or really there's no perfect combination but you would have been able to pull it back and you know not care so much about alcohol not have it become such a overall focal point of your life um, because when you get sober you start feeling great and you start accomplishing goals and you start getting this mindset of like god i can do anything you know i feel like i feel wonderful and you get to this point where you're looking around at everyone else while you're sober and you're seeing them drink and you're like that doesn't seem so crazy you know like that doesn't seem that that hard you know the thing that you really got to remember is that it's a it's a chemical thing you know once the alcohol gets inside of you that's when it changes that's when it changes your perception you know so you feel like when you're sober you might be able to mimic what these other people are doing but truly you can't you know and that's what you have to remember is that even with your progression in life it is only through your sobriety that you're able to obtain these goals, I got a plane for um, But yeah, it's it's because you're sober that you're able to you know consistently stay goal oriented and stay on this linear path of progression. And by trying to drink and, and stray from that or think that you're going to be able to maintain that is just a one way ticket back to the beginning of all of this. Because there, you know, let's say you were even able to you know, go out that night and drink. If you do not get crushed by the weight of regret and self-loathing because you cracked and you drank, you know, and let's say you were just like, oh, that turned out fine, right? There's only so many times that you're going to be able to make that be fine before you start slipping back into, ah, I'll have another one, I'll have another one. Maybe I'll just have one drink in the morning. And before you know it, you're right back where you started. And then you're like, why did I do that? So you have to make sure that you know that this is a, a life change. It isn't like a break, you know, and I think a big part of the fear in getting sober in the beginning is that big like, oh my God, I'm saying goodbye to alcohol for life. And it's, you have to get to that point where you're like, well, what, why do I care? Really, what am I missing out on? The regret, the bad decisions, the potential DUIs, I might already have DUIs, so the potential of getting more with greater repercussions, the, you know, the weight that it is on my health, not to mention that it might even actually add weight to you, depending on if you like beer more, if you're eating shittier foods while you're getting drunk, you know, like, you're really not missing out that much, you know, and truly what, what you think you're missing out on typically is an illusion of your mind, you know, it's, it's like when you're like, oh God, well, it's Friday night, and I'm not going to go out, okay, well, imagine you go out, what happens? You end up at the same bars with the same people and nothing really happens. You just end up spending money and waking up with a hangover. It's in your mind that you think, I need to go out. I need to use this Friday or this Saturday night, you know, otherwise I'm just wasting it. But that's not true at all, you know. It's just what we feel, you know. I, especially for me in the beginning, I remember just kind of being like, oh God, like I'm going home on a Friday night. You, you have to kind of get it into your mind that... Going home and working on something on yourself or finding, you know, something that you enjoy doing or just having peace with yourself, that, that's an okay thing. That, that is a beneficial thing for you in the long run. Um, especially, I really, like, I try to pound it into people's minds. Like, reading is such a good thing because it's, it's mentally expansive, you know, and it, it increases your vocabulary. It expands the people that you're kind of attracted to because you have more things to talk about. Um, it's just a phenomenal way, especially if you feel like you're kind of a night owl like I was, and I suffered from a lot of insomnia, from uh, you know wanting to stay up, and I basically had a drink to pass out. Reading is a phenomenal way to go to bed too, because it'll make you sleepy, you know? And what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? You get wrapped up in the book and you stay up a little bit later, at least you're reading, you know, and you're not pounding beers. So ultimately, you're not missing out on anything by not going out on Fridays and Saturday nights, you know? Um, you really got to, get past that 
that little, you know, carrot at the end of the stick, that truly is not a carrot at all. You know, it's a mirage. And just look at it for what it is. It's going to the same bar, or the same brewery, or the same club, and meeting up with the same people, doing the sh same shit you've already done a hundred times. Imagine it being like a movie that you've already seen over and over and over again. You're not missing out on anything. You know how it ends. You know where it beginning, where it begins, and you know what's in the middle. You know, like you've done that so many times. So do something else for a change. You know, but ultimately the point of this was being: don't let your progress through your sobriety make you think that you're going to be able to responsibly handle consuming alcohol because I guarantee you, you won't. You're, you're here watching this video for a reason. You've sought out help. And people that don't have issues with alcohol aren't even mentally thinking about these kind of things. You know, they just, it's just not, not on their radar, you know. So um, I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, I feel phenomenal. It's, it's a beautiful day out. Um, I had a really good leg workout today. Um, I'm still trying to narrow down a meet that me and my lifting buddy, uh, Eric, can find and finally put some of these numbers on the platform. That'd be a lot of fun. Um, and I, once I get, get that going, I'll definitely share some of those videos here with you guys. Um, as always, I love hearing from you guys. Love all the support in the comments. Um, and always remember that I am just like you guys. I know that you know, because I'm in a video format or just like, you know, you see someone on television, it glorifies them or, or it glamorizes them. But truly, I'm just a person sitting on my porch, you know, and I'm just talking into a laptop and in hopes that this message will resonate with someone and kind of help them on their road uh, to sobriety and that anyone, anyone can do this. You just have to have the desire, just know it gets better and fill your time up with, with other things in life. This life is amazing and it's big and it's vast and it's beautiful and there's a limitless amount of things that you can do in this world. So you can't say that there's nothing for you to do. There's there's too much for you to do in a hundred lifetimes. So anyway, you guys, please like, share, subscribe. Send this uh, out to anyone that you feel like it might help. And as always, it was good seeing you and stay sober, you guys.